In this video, we will talk about the otosclerosis. We will first see the normal hearing process. Whenever the sound waves travel in the air, these strike the outer ear or the pinna and then these travel through the air canal and strike with the eardrum. The eardrum vibrates and in turn vibrates the three bones, the malleus, incus and the stapes. Through this mechanism, the vibrations are transmitted from the outer ear to the inner ear. The vibrations of the stapes causes movement of the fluid in the cochlea which in turn uh, causes the movement of the hair bundles present on the hair cells. This converts the sound waves in the electrical signals and then this electrical signal is transmitted from the inner ear to the brain through the auditory nerve and we hear the sounds. Now talking about the autosclerosis, the word auto means of the ear or related to the ear and sclerosis means the abnormal hardening of the bony tissue. What happens in autosclerosis is that the step is get stuck in its place. This happens due to the abnormal growth of the bone around the uh, step is foot plate which causes the decreased vibrations of the step is and prevents the efficient transmission of sound due to which the patient suffers progressive hearing loss. The risk factors for autosclerosis include the familial condition. A person having a family history of autosclerosis is at increased risk of getting this disorder, previous measles infection, stress, autoimmune disorders, autosclerosis is found more in women than in men and uh, it occurs mostly during the 20 to 40 years of age. Now the pathophysiology. What happens that the normal bone is absorbed and replaced by the vascular spongy osteoid tissue and advanced with the blood vessels and later the bone becomes thick and less vascular. Then the new bone formation takes place at annular ligament of the oval window which fixes the stapes and leads to conductive hearing loss. The patient experiences progressive conductive or mixed hearing loss. Tinnitus may or may not occur. Tinnitus is the ringing or the buzzing sound in the air. Bone conduction is better than ear conduction. This is particularly seen in the Rene test in which a tuning fork is struck against an object to produce the vibrations and then this tuning fork is placed near the ear of the patient so that the patient hears the sounds. This is called air conduction because the sound is traveling through the air reaching the eardrum, middle ear and the inner ear. When the patient stops to hear the sounds, the tuning fork is placed on the mastoid process behind the ear and in this the sound waves travel through the bone and reach the inner ear. And what happens in autosclerosis is that bone conduction is better than the ear conduction because the step is cannot vibrate uh, normally in autosclerosis and in bone conduction this mechanism is bypassed because the sound waves travel directly through the bones and reach the inner ear. The patient may also feel vertigo, dizziness or the balancing problems. Now how can we diagnose autosclerosis? We can uh, investigate about the family history of the patient. We can use ear examination uh, in which an otoscope is used to look into the ear. We can use CT scan. Audiometry can be used to know how well the patient hears the sounds. We can use the Rene test which I already described. Medical management. The medical management includes the use of hearing aids which amplify the sounds and help the patient to listen to the sounds in a better way. Fluoride tablets can also be used because these are believed to uh, slow the progression of the autosclerosis. The definitive treatment for the autosclerosis is the surgical management and two types of surgeries are performed in autosclerosis. The first is the stapedotomy. In this what happens that the stepy superstructure is removed leaving the foot plate uh, in its place and then a small hole is drilled in the foot plate. Then an implant is placed in this uh, small hole and uh, the other end of this implant is connected to the incus so that the vibrations from the incus are transmitted to the inner ear through this implant. The another surgery includes the stapedectomy. In this what happens is that the part of foot plate is removed and replaced with a graft so that the vibrations are transmitted efficiently from the middle ear to the inner ear. The nursing management includes the monitoring of vital signs to get an insight into the patient's condition and to uh, establish a database of the patient's condition. 
Caution in ambulation as dizziness may occur. After surgery, whenever a patient needs to be ambulated, care must be taken because the patient may feel dizziness and may fall on the floor. Observe for signs and symptoms of bleeding, nausea and vomiting because these may indicate complications in the patient's uh, condition. Avoid water in air for at least two months because this may cause the infection in the air. Administer antibiotics for infection control and analgesics for the pain control. Thank you. That was all about the autosclerosis.